Hi everybody, I'm Terry at Holding Your Space, coming to you from England. So um, I'm here visiting family this week, actually this whole month. So I'm really excited. My brother lives here and my sister-in-law and they have two beautiful kids um, and then sisters and brothers and all sorts of friends. So um, everybody's kind of adopted our family and we've adopted them. So they are our family, just like you're my soul family. So anyway, it's so nice, isn't it? It's like, um, especially with Zoom, everything's gotten so worldwide, hasn't it? Like I have friends in Australia. Well, my daughter's in Australia too. But um, I knew people there before she went there. And then um, people all over the world. So definitely all over um, the US and Canada, lots of people. And that is such a joy that brings us all together. So um, why don't we get to a meditation this morning? So I'm sorry I've been gone for a few days and just make yourself comfortable <clears throat> uh, wherever you're seated, wherever you're laying down. Just take three deep breaths, inhaling through the nostrils, all the way up to the larynx and exhaling all the way down to the sits bones. Give it that extra push getting all that CO2 out from the holidays left over. Two more like that. It's allowing your body to be at one. Letting go, <clears throat> going straight to the mind, the consciousness, right? Because that's what it all is. All right, now just let your body breathe you. And since we're working with family, let's bring in all our angels our spirit guides. See the room fill up with light. And bring in your ancestors, your family on the other side. See the room brighten up. Everybody loves to go on a trip, don't they? <laughs> They've been on one. They're saying we're the ones on the trip. All right. Now, your spirit animals and your pets. Some of them are on the other side. Some of them are our guides that help us through this lifetime. I'll see them as they surround us with unconditional love. Okay, room just got a lot brighter, didn't it? Now feeling that light <clears throat> all around you and let's go into our, um, oh, you know what? Let's do the whole chakra thing today, the whole chakra thing. So starting at the base of your spine Seeing that beautiful red, your red chakra, your base chakra. See it as it rotates to the right. It's a little slower than the other chakras. It's sturdy. <laughs> it's part of our survival. Or we go into mama or daddy mode. Protection. Protecting ourselves, protecting those around us. And see that survival <clears throat> instinct and where we connect with Mother Nature and kind of feel the vibration of the earth while you're here. You know, I've um, been seeing these um, African shamans in my dreams and visions lately and how they um, move with that rhythm, that rhythm of the earth, the circadian rhythm. So see that, feel that, be that. All right, moving up to your sacral chakra, orange, it moves a little faster as we see that rotating right above the base chakra. Um, go ahead and make sure that there's no wonkiness here. <laughs> make sure that it moves slowly or smoothly <laughs> in a circular motion. And as it rotates, if there's any dust there, let go of that too the seat of our creativity, our sensuality. Just be one with it. We also hold our emotions here. So be aware of it. Always a good thing to be aware of. And let them move freely. Don't let them be you, but witness them. Let's give that a lot of love right there. All right, 
Moving up to our solar plexus, bright yellow, sunshine, <laughs> the seat of our ego, the seat of our wisdom, our other brain, also part of our divine light here, a bright sunshine that shines from within. It's all about knowing, isn't it? So sometimes our wisdom is not learning, but remembering what we're doing here and when I see this rotate I see it like the Sun beaming out attracting those around us and more so attracting ourselves knowing ourselves and moving up to your heart your beautiful sweetheart bright green this is by far our largest chakra going out 75 feet from the front, 75 feet from the back. See it rotating and shining like a beacon, like a lighthouse. Bright green, emerald green, filled with love, compassion, equanimity. This is a good chakra to look at daily. Shine your light. Shining our light for others and mostly shining our light for ourselves because we're all one. Now moving up to your throat chakra, a beautiful turquoise. I'm wearing my turquoise here today. So speaking your voice, knowing your voice. See that turquoise as it spills out and rotates cleanly and hearing your voice right? Knowing what we want and being able to express that. Now moving up right between your eyebrows, your third eye, seeing that beautiful chakra and in the indigo, lapis, beautiful blue that spills out and direct it like a searchlight, being able to see everything here clearly interpretation intention hmm. also the seat of our intuition so as this develops you might be seeing more things today more number sequences more angels more orbs now up to the crown chakra <clears throat> a beautiful bright Purple, violet, even lavender, little incandescent, effervescent. <laughs> the seed of our awareness, our awareness to the universe. So, seeing infinity, immortality, love in action here. And see that going straight up like a fire. Dreadlocks even, sometimes I see flying up. All right. Now, as we're sitting a little taller from our sits bones to our crown chakra, see that pure white light. So it goes up and down the spine, completely controlled, completely at will. And let's go a little higher with it and a little lower. Let's take it down to Mother Earth, all the way down. Feeling her power. And all the way up to Father Sky. Feeling his power. Feeling that universal energy. and seeing that beautiful light inside us as it glows. All right, let's bring it back down. Your crown chakra. Seeing that rotation. Clear, controlled, 
your third eye, seeing your intuition, clear, controlled, your throat chakra, breathing into that and breathing out of it, <clears throat> seeing the love that we can express and the love for ourselves in our heart chakra, being able to tell others about that love. They're mixing up today, aren't they? <laughs> Going to our solar plexus, knowing our love, knowing what we want, our intentions. And down, down to our sacrum, beautiful orange, completely controlled. Well, we don't want to control this, do we? This is our anxiety sets in, our creativity and our sensuality. Let's fly a flag here. Be joyful. And then all the way to our base, our connection to Mother Earth. Feeling that rhythm of the Earth. Now becoming aware of our fingers, our toes, the Earth, Father Sky. Sitting up a little straighter, completely balanced. Also becoming aware of our angels again, our spirit guides. See them walking behind us today, all around us, our protection. Seeing our ancestors, mom and dad come in for me. So seeing your family on the other side and how they protect us. They also walk with us, giving them jobs today, maybe take them shopping today. <laughs> they like to get out. All right, and our spirit animals, feeling their unconditional love and their silliness sometimes, but protection also. Taking a deep breath in and exhaling. Completely back in the present. Completely at peace. So, namaste from England. I hope everybody has a great day. See you later.